Hi there, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to video 9.2 where we will explore organizational supports of performance. There are two areas we will concentrate on in this video, organizational support and the tasks that managers must accomplish when implementing and maintaining performance support systems. Recall a personal workplace learning experience. Was there a performance support system in place after you completed formal training? What were the resources used? Or if one wasn't in place, what resources would have been valuable to you? In the previous video, we looked at the five moments of need. From an organizational perspective, we can categorize each moment into either knowledge acquisition or knowledge application and maintenance. In the right hand column, you can see that the organization provides the training and ideally should provide mentoring for the worker to learn more. Both of these events are considered to be knowledge acquisition. Moments three, four, and five generally belong to knowledge application and maintenance, which is part of the performance support system. The organization supports all three of these by providing job aids and tip sheets that distill the most frequently performed tasks. The organization also provides EPSS repositories of user instructions that are structured around the business processes and job roles. Additionally, online supports such as forums, discussion groups, or wikis help to provide support for problem solving without interrupting the workflow. Communities of practice should also exist. And finally, learning portals may be used to act as hubs for all of these resources. The organization plays a crucial role with performance support, but managers are responsible for a number of key areas to ensure the performance support system is up to date, used, and responsive to both learners and businesses' needs. These three areas are part of the output requirements and standards. These include defining exactly what outputs and outcomes are expected from job processes. There are four inputs. These are fairly self-explanatory, but I would like to add that monitoring the work environment includes eliminating anything that hinders or holds back performance, such as low inventory, poor workspace, or poor written instructions. There are two consequences, designing the job or task so that employees who are prepared for the job or task can perform them without difficulty. Managers should also observe the job as it is being performed and make changes to eliminate causes of delay, irritation, ambiguity, and other sources of poor performance. Managers' feedback should provide constructive coaching while the job is being performed and give feedback both written and verbally about the job performance. Feedback about results should include customer comments and other forms of quantitative data results that will help the employees perform better. Managers must provide employees with knowledge, skills, and capacity needed to do the job. These should be shared with the HR department so that qualified candidates are hired. Also, it is important to establish a learning system to provide both initial and ongoing formal training for knowledge and skills. The manager should then monitor actual performance and gauge whether formal training is providing the appropriate content. When combined, implemented, and maintained, the manager's task in the performance support system can mean the difference between a well-trained, knowledgeable, and skilled employees and employees who require retraining or have an interrupted workflow, which in turn will negatively impact the bottom line. There are two synthesis questions we will be discussing in the upcoming tutorial. We will talk about the challenges that organizations face with PSS and EPSS, and also consider how organizations strategize for PSS and EPSS. Most organizations have managers at multiple levels with the management system in place at each level. This allows organizations and managers to monitor the performance support system, quickly identify and diagnose issues, and take corrective action as needed.